So all the industries uh, are backed up with supply chain management. So as we have an expert with us, uh, uh, Vikas Ji, so he'll be, uh, what I'm actually looking your insights over that, how this recent trends and practices which is related to sustainability is impacting the entire supply chain domain. So well said, supply chain, supply chain is today backbone of the organization. Gone those days, sometimes was the manufacturing era, then came the marketing era, today is the era of uh, supply chain. You win the market through supply chain, you lose the market through supply chain because ultimately it's a nervous system. When I look from the angle of uh, sustainability, today if I see some of the global figures of large multinational, 94% uh, CEOs are very much concerned about the sustainable practice. It impacts their business, it impacts their society. Because if sustainability is not there, the guy who is looking long term sees the risk of it. It's not a short term, any business is not a transactional thing. In terms of supply chain, sustainability, one of the major risks is your continuity in the supplies, which is can be your raw material, which can be your manpower. Another is the sustainability of your product, how it is impacting the society, what damage it is doing to the environment. Third angle is from the consumption point of view, how consumers are accepting your product on the sustainable framework. So all these put together is making. And at most of the touch point, if you see that uh, supply chain sustainability, almost 50% of uh, greenhouse gas emission is from supply chain only. And a ma major component out of that is from transportation. So it plays a very vital role. So uh, these days uh, we heard about that AI is coming up, the metaverse and the term called digital twins. Do you think that if this, as a consultant you have encountered any uh, any sort of discussion or debate where this uh, industry is uh, trying to adopt this and what are the costs involved at the back? So no question on adoption of technology. None of the industry can afford to avoid technology by not adopting it. Today it's become a hygiene. Only the degree is different at a different industry or the level of the organization. Somewhere adoption is very high. AI or metaverse, whatever you these, whatever technology you take, what they are doing, they are making your process easier. Especially AI or machine learning, they are doing your repetitive work much much easier you are avoiding those errors, accuracy. Cost, I will not comment because cost is always a dependent factor ki up to what label you are adopting the technology. But definitely one thing is very much there that technology optimizes your cost if it has been used in a right way. Because implementation is wrong, nobody can do anything. But your implementation of technology is right, it is going to optimize your cost. Okay, so there is one more uh, angle to this, this supply chain logistics industry is very broad and I think most of the innovations and the disruptions I say is happening in this sector only. So there are lots of small startups are coming up, fourth party logistics supporting, there are lots of different sustainable sourcing solutions are there. So uh, what do you advise to the uh, management graduates and the new graduates, engineering students and all that? Uh, uh, what is the scope? That's what I'm here. Uh, scope, if I see only supply chain, so I will give one statistics of India that uh, in India around 2.2 crore people are involved only in uh, logistics industry, which is almost 1.5%. Very large employment generation industry. And when your industry size is large, definitely your managerial roles will be higher. Industry size, if I say from the other angle, size of the industry, it's almost uh, some estimates say is 13% uh, of the GDP. If uh, we consider it, it's a $500 billion industry. Managing of that size of industry will require a manpower. So management graduate need not to bother about their employability. But there is a difference between employability and career. That needs to be understood to the management, uh, fresh management graduates. Employment is not a challenge in logistics. 
बट हाउ यू शेप अप यूर कैरियर अप टू वॉट लेबल वॉट फर्स्ट यू कैन ग्रो सो फर्स्ट इज द एडेप्शन एडेप्शन टू द न्यूअर टेक्नोलॉजी इज वेरी मच रिक्वायर टू डे सप्लाई चेन इज टेक ड्रिवेन सो दे नीड टू डीप टाइप द वन साइड फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ सप्लाई चेन एंड अदर इज द टेक्नोलॉजी अदरवाइज आई डोंट सी ए मेजर चैलेंज फॉर दैट Okay, so one more aspect in here, as you talked about skill and the career and versus uh, employability and skills. So, uh, what would be, uh, in your opinion, that uh, what sort of skills uh, the students should have as of now, so that they'll be very well, they can develop a better career. Correct. So, if you ask me, supply chain guys, one is that definitely data analytics. That's one of the required skill. Uh, which is very much required i think when we studied uh, a long back 15 20 years back we were never taught data analytics we were hardly taught uh, management information system sort of courses even at premium institutes i am not talking of that tier two but today data analytics is playing a vital role in supply chain uh, you take one shipment moving from point a to point b leaves at least hundreds of the data impression which goes for the optimization i am running a transport network there is optimization i am using inventory there is an optimization i am um, running procurement there is optimization but what's the uh, fuel for the optimization tool you are having but unless until you know how are the actual scenario where data can be used how it should be analyzed when then what's the practical applicability that case study might be uh, teaching them so case approach is another thing they should take uh, apart from this uh, globalization is growing so supply chain students definitely must have a global perspective of the supply chain it's not only very functional but the global so geopolitical uh, scenario which many uh, supply chain courses are not uh, teaching geopolitics but geopolitics has having very larger impact on the supply chain how things will be evolving and what is changing is dependent on geopolitics nobody uh, thought that uh, something like israel will happen and red sea will be uh, in problem so those things will keep on happening so supply chain risk in a better word i can say with geopolitics they can lay a link to the supply chain risk management where geopolitics can one of the things so these are the few emerging things which they should consider what are the basics uh, 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 acceptance means like in terms of as an industry what sort of uh, skill expectations you are having is like in terms of soft skills not i'm talking about the technical skills what are uh, behavioral skills to, rather I yeah think? to freshers definitely expecting too much on the functional side is uh, not a right approach because the guy who is uh, who has studied irrespective of thing he has gone through various um, methods theories and everything but when you go on the field it's not always how you have studied on the mm-hmm. books and that's actual scenario is there actual scenario is uh, quite different so first thing is which we see at the time of hiring adaptability how the person visualize the problem what's his approach in solving i am not saying the saying specific problem problem solving approach industry looks to solve the problem industry today is not hiring only for doing repetitive job for that ai is already there yeah okay so i think what people uh, industry is looking for your adaptability to the industry your attitude towards and problem handling and adapting to the situations so supply chain is a very broad uh, area where we can explore thank you very much for thank you